good YouTube. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter, Bob Irum, promoter of undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one pound-for-pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford, superstar boxer, Bob Arum has some great news as he says that he's going to go above and beyond to assure that we get this fight in November between Terrence Crawford, his fighter, and two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter in November. Okay, We know that the WBO, they ordered that Terrence Crawford face off against Sean Porter and start to negotiate and get a deal done within the next 30 days or... It was going to go to a purse bid, which would see Terrence Crawford get 60% to Sean Porter's 40%. With that said, Terrence Crawford, 37 wins, no losses, no draws, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age. He stands at 5'8 with a 74-inch arm reach. And the last time we saw him in the ring was November 14th when he took on IBF, former welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Special K, Kel Brook. That was November 14th of 2020. Sean Porter, 31 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw. Uh, 17 wins by way of knockout. He, too, is 33 years of age. He stands at 5'7", with a 69-inch arm reach. And the last time we saw Sean Porter in the ring was over a year. That was August of 2020 when he took on and defeated Sebastian Familla, unanimous decision victory. So, with that said, you know, uh, there was talks that a possibility that this fight May not come to fruition. Uh, Sean Porter, he says he's going to let the business of the sport of boxing dictate what takes place moving forward with this uh, fight. Now, we know Sean Porter. He has been calling for this fight publicly uh, since August of 2020. Okay, since the Formula fight right before and then right after and even March of this year when he called out Terrence Crawford and he stated that, you know, uh, this is a fight that the fans want. The fans are hungry to see Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. Let's feed him at Terrence Crawford, at Bob Arum, at ESPN. And we know Terrence Crawford, he responded, and he says, now you're testing my patience, uh, just stay on standby. As he was trying to secure a showdown with legendary eight-division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. That didn't come to fruition. It was looking like June 5th, it was going to be the date, but it just didn't happen. Uh, the investment group in Abu Dhabi, where Bob Arum went to stage the fight, they dropped out, and Bob Arum says that they didn't feel like that being ESPN and top rank, that it was uh, lucrative enough to put up the big necessary purses guaranteed to stage a fight between Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. So now fast forward. Once upon a time, Bob Arum, he stated that uh, Sean Porter wasn't worth more than paying them a million, million five, tops $2 million, okay? Now Bob Arum has since changed his tune as Bob Arum, he states that uh, the greatest thing that happened was the WBO order in this fight because now Sean Porter is going to have to uh, accept the fight. He's going to be backed into a corner. Like I said, Sean Porter, he stated that he was going to let the business part of the sport of boxing uh, run his course and let it play out as it may with this fight. But Sean Porter, ironically enough, was stating that on record that uh, this was his number one objective was to get Terrence Crawford in the ring. Terrence Crawford has been voided as high lucrative legacy hall of fame fight okay and this is it sean porter is no doubt going to be a hall of famer and so with that said bob arum says that uh he's been speaking with pbc premier boxing champions founder and advisor al Heyman, uh sean porter's team his father trainer and manager kenny porter uh he says they've been tirelessly effortlessly working very very hard to make this fight come to uh fruition in november now uh, you know, there was poss possible talks that since Terrence Crawford, he's one fight removed from being separated from top rank and Bob Arum. Uh, and many people, you know, they speculate what's going to be the next move for Terrence Crawford moving forward. Is Terrence Crawford going to uh, part ways with top rank as they haven't been able to secure the fights he's been looking for? Or is Terrence Crawford going to resign? There was talks and chatter and reports and rumors that Terrence Crawford was set to be a free agent after October. Well, that proved not to be true. It's that Terrence Crawford, he owes top rank another fight. So whether that fight takes place in October, 
whether that fight takes place in November, December, January, or next year, he owes top rank and Bob Arum another fight in ESPN. Uh, and so many people, you know, including myself, I stated, well, if Terrence Crawford truly, truly wants to be a free agent and truly wants to part ways, as his team has been stating that uh, Terrence Crawford wants to exit top rank, okay? Uh, he's tired of, you know, getting the short end of the stick and uh, he wants to be treated better and he wants to take his services elsewhere. Uh, so, you know, it just made sense that Terrence Crawford had a, a fight against one of the guys that Bob Arum mentioned as possible opponents for Terrence Crawford. Uh, he stated October he was going to be back, October 23rd, uh, possibly against Jose Ramirez, possibly against uh, Jose Cebeda, and possibly against Regis Progre. Regis Progre, former IBF junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. Uh, Regis Progre, he pulled his own self, his own name out the hat, and he stated that, you know, uh, he had no interest in going up to welterweight. He campaigns at 140, and he has no interest in going to 147. So he was going to allow this fight to just, you know, uh, uh, dissolve, right? It's not going to happen. He's not fighting Terrence Crawford. So Bob Arum, when asked about that, Bob Arum, he stated that, uh, you know, um, well, that's it for Regis Progre. He removed himself. So it became down to Jose Ramirez and Jose Zapata. Jose Ramirez coming off a loss in his undisputed showdown with now currently the undisputed junior welterweight superstar world champion British boxer uh, Josh Taylor. Okay, he lost that fight. He was dropped multiple times in the fight. Uh, it was a bad loss. And it was an undisputed showdown. He had two belts. Josh Taylor had two belts. And Josh Taylor, he beat uh, Regis. I mean, excuse me. He did beat Regis Progre, but he beat Jose Ramirez. That's the last time we saw Jose Ramirez in the ring. It's coming off of a loss. So uh, the last thing people wanted to see was him go straight away from junior welterweight coming off a loss to go up to welterweight and fight arguably the best fighter in the world in Terrence Crawford. Uh, so it left Zapata seemed to be the next option. And the more um, realistic option for Terrence Crawford, which if he fought Zapata, I'm highly favoring Ter Terrence Crawford. 90-10% he wins that fight. I'll be completely shocked in most of the boxing world if Jose Zapata was to beat Terrence Crawford. And that would be the one fight he owes top rank Bob Arum and ESPN. And then he can be a network free agent and find himself on the PBC as it's being reported that uh, it's highly expected Terrence Crawford to, re to sign with the PBC where they have all the best welterweights in the world. They have Keith Thurman. They have Sean Porter. They have uh, Errol Spence. They have Danny Garcia. You know, they have all the best welterweights in the world. And those are the fights that Terrence Crawford are looking to uh, secure. And so with that said, you know, it's expected that he makes his way over to the PBC. It was actually surprising that he re-signed with top rank the last time he resigned because it was expected he make his way to the PBC. Uh, so with that said, you know, uh, it seems like it's a possibility that Sean Porter would just wait it out, okay, where they could keep everything in-house. You could have Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford when Terrence Crawford's a free agent if he was to sign with the PBC. Like I said, it's highly expected. If he was to sign with the PBC, you have you keep it in-house, and you keep all the money and all the revenue, and you eat amongst each other. But if Terrence Crawford was to resign, see, here's the, the tricky part. Nobody truly knows what's Terrence Crawford next move. Is he going to resign? Is he going to leave? Right? He he seems to be very loyal to top rank in ESPN. Okay. Uh, and it would make would it make sense for Terrence Crawford last fight with top rank ESPN to be a huge uh, legacy fight? You know, he finally gets it, and then he parts ways. Is this going to satisfy Terrence Crawford? Should he get the Sean Porter fight? And and Sean Porter then. You know, Terrence Crawford wins the fight and Terrence Crawford is satisfied and complacent and re-signs with top rank. Uh, you know, um, that's the tricky part about this entire equation. But nonetheless, all of those things Bob Arum is saying now, he's not going to let them play a part. He's not going to let them get in the way. He's absolutely going to do whatever it takes to uh, be able to make sure this fight comes to fruition in November. He says when there's a will, there's a way. It's not going to be easy, but there's a, this is a pay-per-view event. Uh, there's a lot of money on the line. This is a legacy fight for Terrence Crawford that he's been asking for, and Bob Arum wants to secure it for November. And Bob Arum, he's stating that when there's a will, there's a way. He's going to do uh, everything in his power to make sure this fight happens. He says he's been uh, tirelessly working with the PBC, 
you know, uh, to make sure they get this this deal done. He's been dealing with uh, Team Porter. Uh, we know Bob Arum, he stated that Kenny Porter, father, trainer, and manager of Sean Porter, he sat in Bob Arum's office and he was adamant about making a fight happen between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. And uh, Bob Arum says at the time, uh, you know, revenue-wise, it didn't seem like a good idea. He says that Terrence Crawford is definitely a superstar in the ring. He's just not a superstar outside the ring. And Sean Porter's not the biggest superstar outside the sport of boxing. He's a, excuse me, he's a superstar. Oh, he's definitely a superstar inside the ring, that being Sean Porter. But his brand is not enormous outside the ring, okay? And so Bob Arum just doesn't believe that they'll get a major return on the investment uh, with a fight of this magnitude. And the fact that Sean Porter, he wants to get paid uh, handsomely for his services, okay? Uh, and this is he, Sean Porter is at the understanding that this is the biggest fight in Terrence Crawford's career, not the for the most accomplishments. The most accomplished fight was the fight against Julius Ndongo for undisputed at Julian Welterweight. But this fight with Sean Porter is the biggest legacy fight, the biggest lucrative fight that he could possibly have. And uh, Sean Porter, he understands that. You know, he plays a major part in that being the case. So Sean, Sean Porter wants to stand on his square. Sean Porter is going to demand his worth. Okay, and um, Terrence Crawford, he's, he's on board. He says that, you know, uh, finally one of these guys are backed in the corner and they're going to have to fight me. So I can't wait to see how this uh, plays out. But Bob Arum says bypass all the things you hear. He's going to go above and beyond to make sure this fight comes to fruition. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, see you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.